Hello and welcome to Kit Plus TV, supported by Media Proxy. Now, everyone is producing video content now, as it's a great way to get your message across in precisely the way you intend to. And whatever environment you're presenting in, corporate, education, sport, training, and of course, broadcast, the teleprompter is vital in allowing you to communicate to camera without reading a script. Absolutely. So here to speak with us about some new prompter devices from Data Videos, Adam Levitt. Hi, Adam. Good to see you. Welcome to the show. Hi, Bo. Thanks for having me. So, Adam, it would be fairly easy to assume that teleprompter sales would have slowed down during the pandemic in the last 18 months. Is that what you've seen? Uh, no. In, in fact, it was, was quite the opposite. Uh, numbers were significantly up during the pandemic. Um, I think in large mm. part due to the fact that almost overnight people needed to find a way to bring in in guests from their homes and um, portable affordable and, and easy to use teleprompters uh, were a key key part of that solution um, so data video I've got, I've got a, a good range of, of teleprompters um, that cater for small camcorders DSLRs and shoulder mount cameras um, and they're, they're all powered um, uh, those models are all powered by Android and, and Apple tablets. I think um, that's important from, from a usability point of view because, of course, people are familiar with Android and iOS devices because um, most all of us have one of those operating systems on our phone. So um, you could be confident that you could send something out and that the user would, would actually be, be able to use it. Um, the, the teleprompter app that Data Video have as well, the, the DB Prompter Plus app, is, is very flexible in terms of, of how it can be controlled. Um, Data Video offer a, a hardware controller um, called the WR500. Um, so this can connect to the tablet using a hardwired um, connection. It's a 3.5 millimeter jack into the, the headphone socket, um, or it can connect wirelessly using Bluetooth 5. Um, it's quite a tactile remote. And it's ideal for situations where the talent will be controlling the script. Um, but the app also supports control over IP. So in this mode, you can monitor the prompter in real time and control the scripts over Ethernet or Wi-Fi from any device just by using a, a web browser. So of course, this, this also opens up the possibility to push content to the teleprompter remotely over the internet. Um, and I think the, the ease of use and the flexible control options were, were key to the popularity of this range during the pandemic. Yeah, so you've just introduced a new teleprompter. Does that follow the same suit? Is it is it just the same as the iPad-based systems, iPad, uh, sorry, tablet-based systems that we're used to from data video? Uh, so the uh, the new teleprompter we've just released, uh, the, the TP800, is the first in the range to target the conference market. Um, it's also the first in the range that doesn't use tablets, so it's not powered by an Android or an Apple tablet. Um, it's, uh, it's a self-contained um, solution um, with the, the software and the, and the screen built in. Um, the prompter hardware itself is, is quite unique. Um, data video have built the system into a, a durable flight case. So to deploy the unit on location, all you need to do is, mm. is open the lid, um, attach the extendable pole. Of course, we're talking about a conference style prompter here. So this is what you may have heard um, referred to as a presidential style prompter. So it's where you've got the pole and the angle right. glass at the top of the stage. Um, so to deploy the unit, okay. you just open the lid, um, attach the extendable pole, and the mirror glass, um, and that's it. So it, it's completely self-contained. Wow. Um, and it can even be powered from a, a, v, a v mount battery as well of, as course as, as mains power. Um, although it's, um, it's not powered by a, a tablet, uh, the TP800 in, inside does actually use the same a version of the DV prompter plus application that we use on the, the tablet teleprompters. Um, so you can monitor and control the prompter over Ethernet. And this is really important um, for this type of teleprompter because it makes a, a huge difference um, in terms of the ease of deployment. So 
um, where a traditional conference prompter is effectively an LCD monitor below the pole and, and the glass. So to deploy that, you'd need to run HDMI or SDI back to a laptop, which is then running the, running the teleprompter software. Depending on the setup, you might have a HDMI or an SDI distribution amplifier, which is used to go to one or more prompters. Um, and you'd also probably have a, a secondary monitor connected so that the, the teleprompter operator can obviously see what he's, he's doing. Because, um, of course, the, the, the text on the, the prompter on stage is going to be mirrored. You're also going to want a non-mirrored version um, for direct view for the teleprompter yeah, operator. Yeah, yeah. So it, it gets quite complicated. Um, whereas the TP800 is just a case of open the box, attach the pole and glass, power it on if, if it's battery powered, and you just need to run one ethernet cable. And that will allow you to monitor, control, edit, real-time editing, um, all from, from one screen. Um, and because the monitoring's done yeah. over IP, you get, a, you get a preview as part of the web interface. Even if the teleprompter on stage is mirrored, which of, of course it would be because it's going through the glass, the preview in the, yeah. um, in the software isn't. So you don't even need an external monitor for monitoring purposes. Um, and of course, um, you know, one TP800 can act as, as a master and you can, you can add as many, many slave units as you need. That, I think that probably answers the question I was about to ask, Adam, which was um, how do you handle multiple prompters in the same environment, in the same studio? Mm. Yeah, sure. It's, it's another, another key feature. So, um, again, you know, traditionally you would um, have the source, the teleprompting source being a laptop running the software typically. That would normally go through some sort of distribution amplifier out to the multiple LCD monitors on stage. Um, but with the TP800, um, you can actually connect multiple units by daisy chaining them because each one's got an HDMI input and an output. Um, so you actually only have to have that one Ethernet cable up to stage, and then you can daisy chain um, additional TP800s just using HDMI. Um, or if um, cable length is, is an issue, obviously the length of HDMI cables can be on occasion. You can also um, synchronize multiple um, units using IP. So um, run an Ethernet cable to each prompter, and they can they can talk to each other and stay in in um, pixel perfect sync, just over the um, the Ethernet network. Um, we use the same software on the tablet prompters as well. So of course, all of those can be um, synchronized over over Wi-Fi. So if you've got two or three iPads or two or three Android tablets, as long as the screen size is the same, um, they can all stay in perfect sync uh, over Wi-Fi. Very cool. And, and are these available now? Is, if they're a new product, they're available now? And I guess also got a rough idea of how much? Yeah, they're all available now. Um, so the, uh, the, the, the new TP800 model is uh, 1399. Uh, that's the, the US list. And uh, yeah, for more information, yeah. you can you can get up a data video website, which is datavideo.com. Brilliant. Thanks, Adam. Thanks for coming in. It's uh, definitely a product uh, I'm going to check out anyway. Um, yeah, let's yeah, all head yeah. over to datavideo.com now to see all the latest information. Thanks to Media Proxy for their support, Kit Plus TV, and thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.